If you're like me, you probably have quite a few smart lights in your home, like the ones in this room and the ones that I've shown you on this channel. But what if you wanted to control regular lights, say like the hi-hat lights in this room? How do you control them and make them smart? Well, let me show you exactly how to do that. Your best bet is to use something like this, the Lutron Cassetta Wireless Smart Switch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the regular light switch on the wall with this smart switch. It's going to allow us to control the lights and dim them, and we get a second control, which we can put anywhere. We're gonna make it smart and increase our capability. We're going to replace this regular light switch on this wall, when we come in from this door, with that cassette light switch. And what that will let us do is put the second one over here on this door that doesn't currently have a control for the lights in the room. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is turn off the power. Flip that breaker off. Next thing we need to do is take off the faceplate. And we'll pull that out and disconnect it. And then we'll follow the instructions for installing the cassette light switch. If you're careful and you take precautions, these are meant to be installed by normal people and it is a do-it-yourself project. So we'll just disconnect the wires. This is the copper ground wire. This is probably the hardest part of the job is just getting the wires off. So I use a little screwdriver to twist them a little bit and they'll come right off. Okay, so that's our ground wire. Push the, the white wire back, we won't need that. And uh, we'll take the two black wires off. Depending on the switch, uh, this is either just pressure, so you just have to loosen it and then pull it straight out. Or some of them have a little uh, screwdriver hole on the side that you have to press in to release them. We'll see which one this is. You see the little screwdriver hole I'm talking about, sometimes it's a pressure release. Just give it a good tug and it'll come out, and then out of the way. And we're all set. So now we got that out, time to install this next set. So we wanna make sure we have right side up. It's obvious which is right side up. First thing we'll do is we'll connect the ground wire. So green is ground typically. We'll add a wire nut onto the front of this. These wire nuts hold the connections together. And then we'll do the same with the other two wires. Okay. We'll connect either one to either of the black wires. Pretty simple install as you see. We'll put that one in there. All you're really trying to do is make sure that you don't have any escaped wire that's hanging out because that's where you might get a short if those wires when you push them back touch something they shouldn't touch so we'll twist these two on and we'll be pretty set okay so we'll make sure they're tight and we essentially push all these wires back in again this is probably the only challenging part in the install it's just making it all fit and aligning it so it goes in without any damage to any of the wires. Or as I mentioned before, so you don't short anything. So now you have to line up those holes with the screw holes. So now we just uh, thread the screws back in and tighten these. This is where you want to get your alignment centered a little better. But the beauty of these screws is they'll pull the plate back in nice and any of the wires in the back that may still be putting pressure on the front plate, the screw will take care of that because it'll slide it right back in where it needs to go. Okay, now we'll turn the power on and we'll see how it goes. And now we have power. So let's test this we should be able to turn off all our lights. So our lights are on, you can see by the green light there. Let's uh, turn them off. And it worked. Let's see what that looks like. We'll press the 
bright button and our lights come on. We'll turn them off. They slowly dim down. And that's it. We took a regular old light switch and turned it into a new modern smart switch. To automate this switch, we need a Lutron hub like this, which I installed in an earlier room, but we can leverage it in this room. We'll open up the Lutron app, connect to our system, hit the gear icon, and tap add device. Now it's gonna give us a chance to pick what type of Lutron device we wanna to add to the app, and we'll do the in-wall dimmer switch. And so here's what it says to do. Press and hold the bottom until the bottom button blinks, but we're gonna actually find the one that we want, this one with preset. And so we'll press and hold the bottom button till the LED blinks rapidly. Now you can't see this, but I've done that. Now we pick what room we wanna add this to. This is the studio. So we'll add it indoors. And it's mostly for uh, working, chores, entertaining. I don't know, it's mostly working. So let's call it working and hit save. And we can choose the light type. We'll call them ceiling main. Hit next. And now we've added that to the account. You can tell because the room just blinked and the light switch is also blinking. And there we go, done adding devices. So now if we open up the Lutron app, we'll be able to control that in the new studio. And again, you can't see this, but the lights give me the same control here as I had on the wall switch. And that's how you add a Lutron light to your home. We have one more step to go. The last thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up the Pico remote. So this looks very much like the wired remote, but it is wireless, so we can put it anywhere. So same thing, we'll press and hold until the LED blinks quickly. And there it goes. Where do we wanna add it? We obviously wanna add it to the studio. Oh, there we go, studio, next. And we're gonna control lights, next. And I'm done. So just like that, this remote is set up to control the switch above. So let's try that. Let's flip over to our camera. We'll look at the wall and we'll turn on the lights and turn them off. As you can see, I'm using the remote. It looks just like that. If I press full power, notice the lights get full power. Let's turn off the lights because we're almost done. What we'll do is we'll mount this on that wall with the double back tape. We replaced the old light switch that was not smart with a smart switch. So now we can control our lights in the room. We can dim them, something we could never do before. Uh, and we can control them remotely through the Lutron app or even the home app. And for extra credit, we installed the included Pico remote over here, which gives us full control of the lights in the room. We can, again, even dim them from here. One of the cool things is you don't even see on the main remote is this button here allows you to set a preset for the light level that you want when you come in the room. One of the benefits of using Lutron is it automatically is found in other apps, like here in the alarm.com app. You notice the studio main lights are at 77%. When I switch over into Apple's home, it shows up here too. I can control it even from the control center. And again, just installing it once in Lutron means it shows up in these apps like Eve Home. We'll go into the studio and you can see I can turn on and off the ceiling lights through this third party app. And finally, I can even do it in the NanoLeaf app. This is through the magic of HomeKit and Matter. So that's it. To learn more about smart lights or any other home security or home automation or home health technology, come to skytech.io. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Be sure you're safe with Alarm.com. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe.